G'day, welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. I'll be Nat. This will be my Knackers Yard. That'll be Blue, who's awesome. That'll be Shiver, who's not, who's in the way, frankly. Uh, that'll be June, which I'm loving at the moment. I'm, I, I tend to listen to audiobooks while I'm uh, while I'm tinkering with a bike. Um, obviously not when I'm filming. Um, let's start getting this big bastard apart then, shall we? So first things first, I wanted to take the exhaust off. I don't really, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Now, I don't really know what order I'm doing this in, but I think... My general thinking is if I can leave the bike fairly intact, sorry, if I can leave the original bike fairly intact, I can get some of the shite off. Um, uh, I'm restricted for space. Uh, I need to be able to wheel the bike in and out uh, at the beginning of the day and the end of the day. Um, so I'm just trying to get off what I, like, what I can get to um, uh, before I start really having to think too hard about what I can do and what I can't do. Um, it just seems logical to me. So really I want to try and get anything that's clamping or holding the engine in, i.e. the exhaust in this case. Uh, well, the car will come out in a, few, uh, in a bit. Probably then um, the coolant systems, etc. Um, before I start pissing around with swing arms and wheels and shit. Um, it, some of this is going to seem slightly stupid because I am going to put stuff on the new frame and then take it off to clean it, uh, paint it, etc. Um, it, and it's because I need that mobility, um, that, that in and out mobility. So things like I think I'm going to put the swing arm in as is um, and then take it off again to paint it. I know that sounds stupid, but um, I need the ability to, to push bikes in and out of garages between jobs, uh, really. Um, we'll see how we get on. Um, Exhaust, right, let's start. Wrong, wrong. Let's go through what I've done in the order I've done it. Um, first things first, I needed the bike together to run the bike to get the engine oil warm so I could drop the oil. Drop the oil. I then had to let it cool enough so that I could drop the coolant out of it rather than try and do it when it was warm. So, a simple test. Well, simple test. Ran it till it got warm. Um, dropped the oil. Went and did some stuff. Uh, come back tested the temperature of the coolant made sure it was cool cool enough i.e not steaming um, brief crack couldn't hear anything couldn't hear anything couldn't hear anything took the cap off yet yeah, not a drama i mean it's warm but it's not hot uh, then drained via the drain plug uh, and got that out now the coolant is and you're not going to see this very well because it's in a black pot. The coolant is for one blue, but for two is clear and blue. So there's no rust in the um, radiator, um, so I, which I was uh, frankly concerned about, but actually well happy with that. No rust in it at all, um, which is fucking brilliant. Um, yeah, so then went for the exhaust and went for the studs. Now this was a bit where I knew I was likely to get breakages, which was going to... Or, or not breakages at all. Out of the eight, I've got two brakes, and they are right in the centre. Um, so the studs have sheared. You can see there in top right and bottom left of three and four, which is fucking irritating. But frankly, I think I got away with what I got away with there. To be honest, uh, I'm actually quite surprised that it didn't break more. Um, now they have been, you know doused in um, release spray and everything else and um, and they'll continue to to um, then release spray I keep calling it that penetrating oil and, and I'll keep doing that with everything that I'm getting to um, and we'll see how we go but I don't know how I'm going to get those out yet I imagine probably with my newfound welding skills um, of welding a piece of metal across the top and then just trying to turn it off one way or another but we'll see we'll see uh, I'm, I'm surprised I'm surprised I got away with what I got away with, frankly. Uh, but that's off. It's in fairly shoddy state, but not actually shocking. What was shocking was just how bad the link was onto the exhaust. And the exhaust um, has got a, couple, got a couple of dents in it. But actually, you can see 
It was red once. Uh, some of it was. Yeah. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm probably not going to put it back on, but we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised that that's come off as is. Um, now it's going to need a clean up. I think it's going to get painted. Um, there's not a great deal of point in me trying to get that as a as a polished result. But I do need to get the rust off and get some rust converter on there before it gets any worse. Now remember to buy rust converter. Um, so. We're getting there. Um, yeah, we are getting there. And I am considering order of events and everything. Now, I think I'll get the carb out next. Um, I'm not gonna be able to get, I don't think I can get the air box out with the engine still in. Certainly with the manifold boots are going to have to come off. I think I just don't think there's enough space But I'm going to give that a go now and uh, and I'll drop you back in once I've got the uh, Once I've got the carb out Christ, this is exhausting <laughs> Right, so It's a carb out I'm Trying to look at if I can get this air box out without before the engine moves or not um, It had this plastic sheathing rubber sheathing stuff so it's attached under the bar that's like sandwiched through i did notice on the other one actually it's got like a slither it's got that middle bit in there i think just to stop it from rattling as much as anything else um and then it's wedged up through the two stoppers at the bottom which was a bit of a bitch to get out to be brutally honest uh is that the spanner gone um now i don't know if this is the best way to get them out but it certainly works because they're wedged right under. It's a case of effectively large spanner and just push it until it pushes through that, that lump. Now that's, if I'm gonna use it, that's gonna need a damn good clean. But I'm uh, just intrigued to see what sort of condition the uh, actual air box is in. Uh, sorry, the air box, the filter is in. So I will, uh, I need both hands, so I'll get this out and we'll have a look. Right, so that's a cover off. Filter itself looks to be in quite good shape. I do have a spare from the last one though, because I ended up cutting the air box out um, and using pods, which I don't want to do this time. Um, now my odds of getting that out are Bob open, no hope, I think. So, I do wonder if I can get the front face off and whether or not that's gonna give me enough turning space. Let me, let me have a look. Failing that, I'm gonna to have to wait until I've got the engine out, but we'll have a look. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Mr. Yamaha, you're a dick. <laughs> right, so that's the uh, manifold's off carb manifolds off, front of the face of that off, cam change tightener off, one of the uh, coolant pipe pieces off, I'm starting to give me trouble that, so I've stopped, sorry, for that one, I can't get that fucking thing out, <laughs> I now remember why I cut the last one out, um, I'm going to be more patient with this, I'm going to knock it on the head for the day. Uh, and, and come back. Um, I've got a horrible feeling that airbox isn't going to come out until that engine's out, or at least forward. I wonder if it'll drop forward. Probably not. Whew. Right. I'm gonna. While I'm out here, I'm gonna douse all the douse me nuts again um, uh, with penetrating oil, and just to just to keep it going. Um, I'm seeing you bolts each day uh, and um, yeah and come back to it because that's just not playing right that'll do me uh, yeah I'll catch you later if I wasn't going to get abuse for you from my dancing 
I would dance a fucking jig. A little bit more fucking around and it's out. Yes. Just had to take the side cover off because the clutch cable was in the way. Yes, 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 yes. And it's out. A minor achievement in the grand scheme of things. But it does mean that I can start mounting things on the other frame. An airbox is always, always a pain in the arse. And you can go without them, I do get it. But no bike runs the same. No bike runs the same. <sighs> Fucking yes. Progress. Uh, what I had to do in the end was try and buy myself a bit more space up the top end. So I just wedged it gently with a bit of wood. That's all it took. Right, best side of dinner time for me. I'm gonna put that side cover back on. Be very careful that I don't lose things. I'm gonna put the uh, cam chain tightener back on as well. I'll leave the boots off because they're fucked. I'm gonna, I say they're fucked. I mean, they are, you know, they're coming through, but actually on the inside, they're fine. But I am gonna get new ones. It's only about 20 quid, I think. Um, sweet, and actually, I better cover them up quick as well with something non-shedding, like a screwed up plastic bag or something, just to keep the shite out of it, because uh, there will be shite. <sighs> yes. Finish on a high note, Matt, finish on a high note. Cheers all, I'll catch you later, ta-da.